More and more people are using digital tickets and storing them in a wallet app. It's a handy place to keep everything from boarding passes to electronic movie tickets. But the wallet's contents can be seen by app developers, and users don't know what happens to their info. Leaky, a freelance programmer, hopes to change that with his new wallet app. Pass Android doesn't collect any personal data, and it's open source, so its source code is visible to everyone. He's critical of many common apps. I can't trust them because they're not open source. You can only trust open source apps where you can look in and see if things are as they claim. According to a study conducted for the Canadian government, 75% of all apps collect personal data, including contacts or info relating to the user's location. Often this data is not even relevant to the operation of the software. Much of it is used for advertising purposes or passed on to third parties. Pass Android doesn't collect personal data. The free app has hundreds of thousands of users. It can be downloaded from the Google Play Store, but also from F-Droid, a software repository that only offers free, open-source apps. These are still niche products, but Leaky says that's bound to change. One day, there'll be huge data leaks and people will become more conscious. But for how long? There must be alternatives. If there aren't any, and your only option is doing nothing, most folks won't go for that. There are already alternatives for many popular apps. Take OSM and a free navigation app. It accesses OpenStreetMap, a collaborative project that's created a free and editable map of the world. Transporter is another collaborative effort. This app aims to make it easier for people to use public transport in cities around the globe. And then there's K9, a free open source email client that's been downloaded millions of times. Not all such applications are created for purely idealistic reasons. Take the messaging app Wire. It was produced by a startup backed by several million euros of investment capital. Alan Durich, one of the founders, says data protection is part of their business model. Our digital privacy is uh, getting abused and there are no ways uh, how to follow it and uh, uh, how to deal with it when breaches are happening. Wire has been uh, built ground up, having privacy in mind with a choice of uh, technology. Wire first has to prove itself as a safe alternative to established messaging services before it can turn a profit. Later it plans to introduce fee-based extras and licensed versions for businesses. Offering end-to-end -end encryption, the app is compatible with all major operating systems and it gathers no data as users can see for themselves. In July we open sourced uh, all of uh, the client uh, code uh, and uh, uh, we uh, truly believe that uh, open source is uh, uh, the future. Whether created for idealistic or commercial reasons, there are alternatives to the common data-hungry apps. Often they're just as good and don't cost anything either.